I know my label. I know what my CEO can do. I know what my label manager can do. I know what my role manager can do. So when something is going wrong, me personally, I will know how best to tackle it. The girl has made it known to the guy she's married. She has someone she's going out with. And she's not ready for any new relationship. But the guy was like, you please just pretend you love me for just one minute. Alright, it's your boy S K A N N A H Scanner and it's One Play Africa. Go subscribe on YouTube on all platforms. Cre The entertainment industry keeps increasing every day because a lot of emerging artists join the race to become superstars. Yes, superstars. So they have one superstar here. I think he's already a superstar. <laughs> and he goes by the name Skana. Yeah, Skana. How are you doing? I'm good. You? I'm good too. Sure. So um, how is the preparation like coming here? Preparation coming yeah, here. Yes. It's been good so far. It's been good. Yeah. Like today, what did you do when you woke up? Were you nervous? Up. I was not nervous. I just prayed to God. I was like, God should give me a successful program today. Wow. Yeah. So coming here, you're okay. You're cool. Very okay. Yeah. You're very okay. <laughs> so welcome to One Play Africa. All right. Thanks. So okay. So um, do you listen to other music apart from yours? Yeah, I listen to a lot of songs. Actually, I listen to I listen globally. I don't listen to just Ghanaian music. Wow. I listen. I don't listen to just African music. I listen to global music. Yeah. So, like, who is your favorite artist? Who do you listen to most? <laughs> like? My favorite artist is myself. <laughs> yourself. Yeah, myself. So, who inspires you? Who motivates you? A lot of things. My environment, what I see daily, what I read, what I watch on telly. A whole lot of things inspires me. So don't you have any artist you learn from? Myself. Yourself? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, so how has your music journey been so far? My music journey, it's, it's, it's a long time coming. And I'm still, I'm still learning. I'm learning a lot. When did you officially begin music? Okay, officially it's been two years now. But I started music when I was in class four, way back in primary. That was when I knew I could do something in music. So that was when everything started. And then from now, so from then to now, I'm still on it. Which genre of music do you do? I'm versatile. Versatile. But currently, my songs out are Afro. Why, Why Afro bits? Because <laughs> that's what I want to do now. Okay. Yeah. Is it because like, a lot of people are now into Afrobeats, like the ones who do Afrobeats? And that's maybe. like. So you're following the trend? I'm not following it. I said maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe, yeah, maybe. But it's nice though. Sure. How many songs do you have now? I have a lot of songs, but currently um, we just have three officially out. Surely. You have videos for them? Yeah, I have one acoustic video out. And the other song, the video will be out very soon. Very, very soon. Do you have a record label? Yeah, you've seen it. It's <laughs> Liquid Zero Records. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you know, they are holding me down in everything. How's the journey been with them? Very smooth. Shouts to my CEO. Shouts to my record label manager. Shouts to my road manager. Shouts to my PR. Everything is very smooth. Do you have challenges with recording? No. Challenges like what? Let me ask. I don't know. You guys go to the studio. Maybe you have something in the studio you do that I didn't. When we go to the studio, we just go to have fun. We have fun. Yeah. Do you write your songs yourself? Yeah, I write them myself. Wow. So you're a songwriter? <laughs> yeah, I write them myself. So ever since you started music, you've been writing your songs yourself? Ever since. Wow. Yeah, Are you sure? Much. Nobody yeah. writes Nobody, for you. No. I write my own songs after recording, my label, the whole team listens to it. <clears throat> if they find something wrong with something, maybe a word or something, 
they just correct me, don't use this, use that, don't use this. Yeah. Mm. How many producers have you worked with? Mm, Officially, so or since I started music? Oh, yes, yes, since you started. I've worked with a lot of new producers. Like, can you mention some? I've worked with B1, I've worked with Drillix, I've worked with Rolly, the rest I can't mention. It's been a long time coming. Who's <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's um work like do you enjoy most? I enjoy every producer's work. If I don't like your work, I'll never work with you. But how do you get to know how they are before you you no, get to work, you work with them? With the producer, Maybe. You go there, you have some kind of vibe, you listen to some productions of the producer, then you ask yourself if you can really fit into this production. Wow. So before I work with you, I know what you can do. If, what you, if I don't like what you do, I won't work with you. Wow. So you listen to yourself, like you said earlier, that I you listen, listen to yourself. My um, emotions. <laughs> so you've, you've never listened to any artist and feel like you want to sample their song and Probably. do something. Are you sure? I just listen to myself. I listen globally, like I said. After listening globally, I listen to myself, what myself wants to do. If he wants to do this, okay, fine, let's do this. No, no, you're kidding. <laughs> because I, I really know everybody takes an inspiration from somebody. Yes, like we have people in your field, we have people who, who have made their names, they're superstars. So maybe you might watch somebody and you'd be like, I really want to be like this person. So you start maybe learning from the person. You don't have anybody like that. You said those people take inspiration yes take maybe inspiration you take inspiration from, from somebody so maybe those people who do they take inspiration from maybe maybe they have people they've taken their inspirations from so before. i have no one i'm taking inspirations from myself in my environment <laughs> you might be strong <laughs> <laughs> you might be strong so who who finances your work my management my ceo yeah. He does everything. Yeah, Alfred Ado, that's his name. Shouts oh. to him, Liquid Zero Pub. He finances everything the label needs. Almost so you don't everything. face any challenges. You know some emerging artists, a lot of them complain about their record label. Even some people who have been signed, they, like, they blew up with one song and maybe they are fortunate to get record labels. After signing, they, they start complaining. These are the promises they gave me before we signed um, the contract. But after signing the contract, things are not going on well, maybe financing and other stuff. Do you face challenges with that with your uh, label? You know, every relationship needs understanding. So even before you sign, I think you should, you should have some kind of relationship. Oh no, like everybody you see even <laughs> couples fights at time yeah, you know, yes but when you understand yourself i'm not sure i'm going to bring it out to the public even are you sure you yeah. because we've seen people done that recently we've seen Famille and ogidi brown they, they were friends before but now they are no more so yeah, that's how yeah, yeah, so how you're talking about you you know the kind of person you go to how you so to them, that's why I'm, I'm giving you that yeah, example. So I, I, I actually, I know my label. I know what my CEO can do. I know what my label manager can do. I know what my role manager can do. So when something is going wrong, me personally, I will know how best to tackle it before it comes out to the public. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so people used to say now, um, the current generation, we, we think Afrobeats, as more bigger we have that perception that Afrobeat is more bigger than high life do you also have that perception being an Afrobeat artist i'm not an Afrobeat artist I'm very okay sad. yeah but currently you're but doing cur Afrobeat currently like what, what, what songs top charts you don't ask me questions <laughs> i'm asking you questions yeah, 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 yeah so yeah, what songs top so do, do you feel Afrobeat um as bigger now than the high life. I wouldn't say that. I just love Afrobeat, so that's what I'm doing. 
<laughs> Why? Don't please, please, please don't run away from the question. We are having a conversation <laughs> here. What do you think about that? If Afrobeaters, because now that's what's making the wave, and people people are saying that. Do you also agree with them? People are saying yes. Do you agree with that's them? That's what's making waves. Yes, and that's like, what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what I'm promoting now. So. <laughs> Wow. So let's talk about your song. Um your current the current yeah, one. Kilo Day. Kilo Day. <coughs> I saw Ginger Me. I went to Google about yeah, it. I saw Ginger, Ginger Me, Ginger some acoustic version. You see, I went to look for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <absolutely>. yes, thanks. <laughs> so let's talk about Ginger Me. Why Ginger Me? Yeah. We're scared like as at now, you are ginger me. <laughs> wow. yeah. So, you, can you give me like a line or two in Ginger Me? Maybe it's a love song. Yeah. So it is. It is. Wow. Okay, so. I thought you said you searched that one, so you should know it's a love song. So you're lying. <laughs> no, I wasn't. But I mentioned Ginger Me. Yes. Maybe perhaps maybe you heard it or something. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I did. I did. Mm. So let's go. So. I was like, uh, uh -huh. I got a thing for you. Anytime I see how yeah, they go like, oh baby, let's shanku. Get your love when they put me on hard drive. This thing you they do, girl, I go feel like a buyer. I don't go play you fool, and I don't go like all you did. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. <laughs> oh, okay, so the other is coming up today. Ginger me, sing that part for me so that. <laughs> Are you ginger me your dog? Wow. Are you ginger me well and I don't go like you dance for bo bo bo. Wow. You know are you that? are you a Ghanaian? Yeah, I'm a Ghanaian, hundred percent Ghanaian. You I'm seem cool. like a Nigerian. Versatility is making me sound like that. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> My versatility is making me sound like a Nigerian. Wow. When I'm doing rap, it's different. When I'm doing, you do rap. Yeah, rap. I'm not ready to give you <laughs> <laughs> I nearly said that, so I give you a freestyle. I'm not ready to give up lines. Why? I'm, not, I'm, I'm putting you on the spot. You're an artist. Yeah, when the so, time comes, I'm going to do that one. Right now, I'm promoting Afro. Let's do Afro. Okay, so your current song, let's talk about it. Yeah, Kilo Day. Kilo Day. Why Kilo Day? Kilo Day is Nigerian, or? Yeah, and you about it. Ah, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're making me think the artist you are taking inspiration from is from Nigeria. That's what I'm thinking now. Afro but you beats, just don't want to Afro, tell me. Afrobeats ori originally is, is coming from Nigeria. You feel like it's yeah. really so that's why I'm sounding like a Nigerian. Oh no, but Kilo Day too. Because being a Ghanaian, we have a lot of things, like a lot of words. Kilo Day means... What's up? What's up, yeah, yeah like it's why? true. Because people, yeah, how are you or something? Yeah, right. I, yeah. So why Kilo Day? Why Kilo Day? <laughs> <laughs> you know, after listening to the song, if you've really listened to it, you know, you just be asking yourself why, ah, like, what's up? Mm -hmm. So I was just sitting there and I just thought we should use Kilo Day. So I took it to management. Mm -hmm. and then I gave them some couple of reasons. And then they were like, it's cool. Wow. So, where did you get the uh, inspiration from for that song? Yeah, I got the inspiration from a movie. Uh, I was watching a movie. A Nigerian movie? Yeah. <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah, it Again. was a Nigerian movie. You know, it was about a guy and then a girl. The guy has been persuading the girl for a very long time. But the girl has made it known to the guy she's married. She has someone she's going out with. And she's not ready for any new relationship. But the guy was like, Yo, please, just pretend you love me for just one minute. And I'll be okay. Wow. Okay, so how is how how is the industry accepting the song? So far it's good. It's good, it's yeah, going. The they are they are playing the yeah, response yeah, the response and the feedback. Everything you're hearing is positive. Wow. So you you've been going on media tour? Which do you think the presenters are hard on emerging artists? Not really. So far, all the presenters I've met, they're very cool. Very, very cool. Met Andy Dusty, met Sammy Flex, met um, 
you know, lots of presenters. Nana Romeo, you mm. understand? Yeah. And they are all cool. They are all cool. Very, very cool. Including Nana Romeo. Including. I guess you went very early. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, uh, my team, we work with time. We are time conscious. So, wow. if it's any time you ask, we are cool. Wow. So, have, since you've been in the industry, what have you learned from the industry? I've learned a lot. Like? I shouldn't compare myself to any other artist. That's what I can talk about. About the industry? About the industry, yeah. Wow. That's the only thing you've learned in the industry. No, I've learned a lot, but that's what I can talk you about can in talk general. About. I shouldn't cover myself too much. I should just be doing myself. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing myself. So, this question, answer me. Which female artist are you looking forward to, to feature? Maybe on your next project in the industry? I've not thought of that. I was just thinking about a male. Wow. Yeah. So, which female artist is your favorite artist in Ghana? Miss V. Miss V? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> let's assume them, like, in future, you're going to feature her. Yeah. Since she's somebody you love so much, in future, you're going to feature uh, Miss V. Yeah. We should be hopeful. Yeah, we're hoping for that. Okay. Um, so, um, aside the industry, we, you see, we have a lot of people who call themselves the gatekeepers, the gates. Have you heard of that? Maybe the pandits. Have you met some of the pandits on the shows you've, you've gone to before? Yeah, yeah. And have some spoken to you? Advice, lots of advice. Advice, so... Yeah. Ad <laughs> they gave you a lot of advice, yeah. like... As a young artist in the industry, yeah, what, what are some, doing, some of the advice you took from some of... to be taking my steps, what I say on air, and a whole lot, including advising my label itself. Wow. Yeah. So, which um, producer are you looking forward to, to work with again in Ghana? Ghana, yeah. Yes, in Ghana. Oh, you're not thinking... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I said something. I, I've been listening to songs globally. Yeah, the producer. So, so, so I, I, I'm looking forward to work globally. Wow. So mention one producer you love to work with. In I love to work with Street Beats. Ah, he's, he's in Ghana. Yeah, it's such mention. <laughs> yes. So okay, okay. So mention. Let's go. Street <laughs> Beats. Rexy. Okay. You know Rexy is in Nigeria. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Who? Two is okay. Two is okay. I'm <laughs> <laughs> taking two and should like five or ten. If I mention it, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be taking the whole show. I'll just be taking the time for it. Okay. And if the artist too, male artist. Male artist. I'm looking forward to work with Omali. Omali. Fireboy. Okay. So, Ghanaian artist, you're not looking forward to work with any? I'm looking forward to work with some. I mean all of them. All of them, yeah. <laughs> including <laughs> including Sakodi, yeah. including Kelvin Boy, yeah. including Fabier, yeah. wow. including Eugene, including Kitty. Yeah. Wow, which artist style would you like? Their style, do you like more? I can't answer that. You can't. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. You should at least if not even the song you should love somebody's style or this artist maybe their brand going, their going brand up, look. going up i was just looking at sako there why him no i just like his style like he said his style yeah. his branding his branding and everything wow so aside sako there in ghana you don't speak i love everyone's style <laughs> 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 oh yeah, honestly, I love everyone's stuff. But like I said, growing up, I was just looking at Sarko when I was growing up. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, what should we expect from you in the next four or five years to come? Mm, in the next four or five years, greatness. <laughs> Are we taking mm. it to the next level? Taking um, it to yeah. the next level. Yeah. When is your next project coming up? Very soon. No, no, no. Give me a specific time so that I will just... For now, I'm just promoting Kilo Day 
Aside clothing. Clothing is how many weeks now? Come again. How? Clothing is a month. A now. month. Yeah. Oh, okay. So after kilo day, and then maybe the release of the video, we we'll just hold on and then be promoting kilo day. Then next year I'm coming out with an EP. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's the title? <laughs> Exclusively, I'm keeping it low. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why are you always keeping your things low, because low, low? Why you don't surprise. want us? I want it to be a surprise. No. I want you to, I want you to be ant anticipating. You know? Sure. So when you give us the title of the EP, we'll, somebody like me, I can't even sleep. I'll always want to, like, I'll be expecting it. The, the, the EP title is, is still not final. It's, Management it's has not approved okay. it. So. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It looks as if your management does something that's like extraordinary because you keep referring to them management, management, because management. they've been very good to me. Very, very good. Are they the first um, record label you've worked yes. with? The first record label. And I'm sure the last record label I'm working with. <laughs> <laughs> this, what you're saying, I'm marking it now. Oh, yeah, you're marking it. We're keeping notes of everything I'm saying. In the future, we don't want to hear anything. Like, uh, you people have worked with you, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you make out of that as a young artist, an emerging artist? Do you really fear some of those things that maybe working with, let's, let's use um, uh, Kelvin Boy and Stone Boy as an example. They were doing very, very, very good. But later on, Kelvin Boy had to exit the record label as a young emerging artist like you, do you fear some of those things that might yeah. happen to you? I have my own fears, but I know earlier when I said something about understanding, and also you should learn to say sorry. So when I feel I'm wrong, I'm going to say sorry. And even still, when the label is wrong, I still have to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so even if your uh, the label Liquid doesn't yeah doesn't want to work with you again you still be okay I'll, I'll be cool i have nothing to say nothing to do <laughs> are you for real <laughs> we, we we real. just pray we pray it never happened that yeah, you sure. depart from them because since they've held you down sure. you're okay with them you feel comfortable with them we we should just be hoping for the best it, sure. A bright future with sure. them. The kilo day, you've not given me any freestyle of the kilo day. <laughs> so let's just do the kilo day. And kilo day, I think you should do all. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, so let's go. I don't mind to say this. I don't mind to give you my heart, stop cleanse the pain. Yeah. <laughs> no, know, wait, wait. It, it looks as if you like only love songs. <laughs> I don't like love songs. Yeah. I told this from a story. Okay, so let's yeah. go. So tell me the whole story. I don't mind to say this. I don't mind to give you my heart, not cleanse the pain. Yeah. But I know, girl, you don't want me. Eh, but I'll be glad if you can pretend. Let's just pretend. I wanna see your face in the morning, kiss you when you're sleeping, touch it till you want it. Put your body on me, hold me tight like a plane is crashing, and you're scared of dying. Touch it till you want it. Put your wow. body on me. Just wow. pretend. <laughs> when I love you, you love me too. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice is very, 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 very like, why? What do your label give you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they give you some honey or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I take a lot of things, you understand? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I take a lot of things. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So, I, one question escaped me. Where, where actually do you come from in Ghana? I'm from Kuru. Okay, cool people. You guys have money small. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because whenever somebody's like, I'm from Kuru, people are like, you have money. So where do you stay? Like, your wood? Yeah, currently I stay in Nungwa. Nungwa. Yeah, so when I get to Nungwa and I mention your name, everybody 
Yes. When Your you name is Nungwa, a household name. Yeah, when you get to Nungwa, it's only looking for liquid zero power. Wow. No, I went to you know my name. Okay, so when you get to Nungwa, you yeah. want to see. Ask the person you are looking for a scanner. And everybody will show me. Yes, please. Are you sure? Hundred percent sure. So like you rep down would Yeah, I rep mm. Nungwa. I rep Nungwa Senior High School. You know I school today, so oh, Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so that should be the advantage that you're getting because schooling there is a plus. Yeah. So when you're in school, you were giving the girls like some freestyle. No, How you love? No girls. <laughs> <laughs> How you love singing about love? Yeah. Oh, when I was when I was in school, you know, at every stage I was learning something different. I was in term, I was doing rap, I was in college when I was doing dance. So I came to Nungu, I was still doing dance until I met the label and I switched from rap dance to Afro. Because you look like a yeah, dance hall artist. Oh, really? <laughs> so we should be expecting one dance hall tune. We can tell the label, no, let's hear for dance hall, but could be in film. Yeah, 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 What's yeah. that calling God? Like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. So, um, your next project is the EP, the EP that we should be anticipating, anticipating that it's yeah. a, it will come off next year, next probably year. January. Not January. Mm. Maybe the middle of the year. Ah! Uh, <laughs> why, why are you going to stop because, us from... Because, because we'll still be dropping singles from the EP next year. Okay. Yeah, so... Maybe in January, you can drop maybe a single or something. But the EP officially is going to be out maybe in the middle of the year or maybe the latter part of the year. Wow. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't go to the latter part of the year. Why? Maybe in the middle. So that you can enjoy it and maybe <laughs> use it for Christmas. You know, when I, when I, when, when I bring one single out, it's enough to hold you for a very long time. Charlie, you're a best side. You don't like, <laughs> you don't like me. You want <laughs> you give us back to back, back to back, back no, to back. I'll, I'll be giving you back to back when they need arises. That's what we want. You know, Ghanaians, we get fed up with, or oh, you've not realized it. I've realized it. Yes, that when you just, when the song is a hit cry, when a new one comes, we forget about, then you see how. Yeah, that's we, why when, when I bring it and it's a hit, I need you to hold it down for a very long time. And I'll just drop another one. But I'll mm -hmm. still be keeping you on your lips. No, no, we want back to back, back to back. It's really back to like back, and I'm a fading, and then I'm away with me. They be, they Because you easily forget what I dropped last, because you have a new one you are jamming to. But when the old one is still there, you still be jamming to that one, you still be asking for more. Hey, with all your baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Why so charming? Say, I wouldn't make a dream. Okay, so uh, it's been. You are a very great artist, Thank and so I really want to see you at the top one of one day. Sure. And I uh, mean, I said next month, it can happen. Maybe. Kilode, how you are promoting Kilode, it yeah. can even make you a superstar yeah. by next, 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 next month. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I really want to see you at the top one day, being a superstar. Now you change near to go to the so we're, we're joining. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so your final words to people in Nungwa. In Nungwa. Yes. Okay. So please look into the camera so that you tell them that. Nungwa, you know, it's been a long time coming. You should still keep heads up, keep supporting the brand, Scanner, S K A N N A H. On Instagram, I am scanner, Twitter, scanner underscore, YouTube, scanner, Facebook, scanner, they don't fake. And then keep supporting Liquid Zero Pub, Liquid Zero Records. We'll get into the top very soon. Kilo Day is out on all platforms. Go get it. Wow, <laughs> go get Kilo Day. It's been amazing having you. For sure. Thanks for your time. Thanks Great so much for hosting me too. Okay, so thanks so much for watching us. It's been amazing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at One Play Africa and follow us on all our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and IG at One Play Africa. My name is Tina Love Nairam.
One play, one play, one play. At class to your music.